I don't think we really started panicking until the end of the day when time was getting really tight and we had to do all of our renderings and stuff. We talked to each other afterwards and we all agreed that like inside we were feeling a little nervous the last two hours. So the design charrette is a one day design pro problem, I guess you could say. It's a fast paced project where um, students don't always know what they're going to get going into the project. And so when we meet at site in the morning, they get their information, they're told to go, and they start doing whatever the task is for the day. So that problem can vary from semester to semester. This semester, our client is the Central Wisconsin Children's Museum, and they approached us looking for students to work on redesigning their farm and sustainable house vignette. They're really excited. They were very nervous coming into it. I talked to a few students yesterday and the day before who were wondering what, we, what they were going to get into on Friday. And I think sometimes this class has traditionally been a little nerve wracking for students because every year it's something different. So nobody knows what they're get, getting into. And they know that they have to perform in one day and then present their solution at the end. And My initial reaction was to go online and look it up just to get a good idea of what they already have in the space and what the space is going to be like when I go I there. I was kind of hoping it would be something residential, but then I was like, okay, I could probably use some more experience with the commercial space. It definitely was a good opportunity to be able to give them new ideas to help children's learning experiences. So. And I had, I had never even been in there, so I was like, cool, I get to go to one more new place in Stevens Point and kind of get the feel for it, see um, what opportunities for children are in this town, and I thought it was pretty cool to be able to give them that opportunity. The fact that our students, some students come from farms, and so I've definitely heard some conversations in the studio about, oh no, cows don't do that, or, you know, what are the names of cows, uh, was one conversation I had. Uh, and I just immediately went to my geography class I took over the summer, this past summer, and was talking about why tractors have big wheels, and like, so I immediately started pulling some stuff from um, my geography class, actually kind of random but <laughs> one of the biggest problems they probably have to deal with is the fact that there isn't a lot of money so the Central Wisconsin Children's Museum has a very tight budget and so any solution that the students come up with they are either going to seek donor funding to help pay for or they're going to find ways for volunteers to do the work themselves. We were kind of promoting the sustainability aspect by using I mean, reclaimed sort of materials um, to kind of you know promote sustainability and just kind of use the same materials that were already there instead of be like, oh, you have to go buy another piece of this because you know we need it. But no, we were trying to keep their budget in mind and promote sustainability. When we're in the professional world, I've already had experiences in internships where clients will come in and they'll be like, okay. Um, let me see what you have and you present something to them and then they say that they want to change something. So then you're put on the spot right away to not have months of preparing a project. You're put on the spot right away to make a change. And I think um, the experience of designing a whole thing like on the spot in one day is something that is important for designers because we need to have that skill to make quick decisions. Um, working with clients.